Para sa analysis ng Game 5, kasama natin yan sa studio ang basketball analyst and vlogger na si Enzo Flo, a.k.a. The Hoop Nut. Hey guys! Enzo, welcome back to The Score. Uh, ayun, game 5, I'm sure not a lot of people thought that the uh, Cavs would extend the series. Pero ikaw, sa tingin mo, ganun ba kalaki yung uh, pagkawala ni Draymond Green para sa oh, Warriors? Definitely. No? Uh, for me, um, he's been the MVP of, uh, of the Golden State Warriors for this series so mm -hmm. far, no? up until Game 4. So if you take him away from from the Warriors, so like a big impact, na, not just with the numbers, but guy gonna say Benny Clay, you know, like his communication, the intangibles he brings there, the switches and the pick and rolls, mm -hmm. the the fact that when you when you have him there, that's one extra great defender you can throw at Kyrie, you can throw at LeBron. So so many things ang ang nawawala from Golden State. I'm just curious since you mentioned MVP. Sino sa tingin mo sa side naman ng Cavs ang MVP so far? Is it LeBron or is it Kyrie? I actually give it to Kyrie. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. we all know what LeBron can do at this level. Mm -hmm. He's done it so many times before. But Kyrie, in, in their two wins, he's been really the, yeah. the, the one who's been stepping up, uh, stepping out of the shadows of LeBron, really showing us a new level of play. At uh, I think that's the kind of um, thing we need to see from Kyrie more consistently for them to be able to make history and come back from a 1-3 deficit in the finals he has to be magnificent in game 6 and if necessary game 7 and sina bi mga magnificent uh, 41 points for both LeBron James and yeah. Kyrie Irving but i have to give it to Kyrie whenever parang whenever it seemed that the Cavs needed a big shot and nothing was happening dun sa offense nila si Kyrie yung uh, Gumagawa. Was uh, there anything different on offense na ginawa itong Cavs? Actually, kung titignan mo yung Cavs kanina, you couldn't really say na they were moving the ball more. I mean, it's a numbers lang. Uh -huh. Golden State still had more assists than Cleveland kanina. But I think he was really aggressive and he was unfazed. No? Even if um, Golden State made some mini runs in throughout the game, si Kyrie never, he never felt that he was disheartened. Mm. He was really... A uh, very aggressive Karina, even if, if no matter who Golden State threw at him, oh. mapa Kai, mapa Clay, mapa Curry, um, kahit sino man yun, talaga, he took them to town, took them to school, and scored on everybody. Will this type of performance from the two guys, LeBron James and Kyrie, mm -hmm. happen again? Because it's never happened yeah. in the history of the NBA Finals, and. It's it's very hard for them to duplicate what happened here in game number five. What about Kevin Love? Thirty-two points. Uh, sorry, thirty-two minutes. Only two points, but <laughs> yeah. he only took five shots. And then he had that um, moment with LeBron that was all over social, <laughs> social media. media yeah. So, ano masasabi mo dito kay Kevin Love? Um, is he lost in the in the moment? Lost in the. Uh, functioning of the offense of the Cavaliers? Well, certainly, you know, people uh, were saying that with him and Kyrie healthy this time around, Cleveland should have a much stronger shot of winning the title. And Kyrie, of course, obviously we felt his presence, his impact. But si Kevin Love, especially after game one, mm -hmm. parang tama ka, Anton, no? parang he's been lost somehow. Some people are saying Cleveland is not using him well enough. Mm -hmm. Some people are saying he just doesn't fit this whole scheme of things, he doesn't match up well with Golden State. I think it's a mixture of all the, a mixture of all those things. But when it comes down to it, great players have to play well no matter the situation, yeah. especially at this level. So honestly, even if LeBron and Kyrie both continue to play well, I think eventually Kevin Love will need to make his imprint on mm. this series for them to to rally against Golden State. Ngayon naman uh, and going to the side of the, the Warriors. Itong, we don't expect si Andrew Bogut to be oh. healthy or yeah. playing dito sa Game 6. How big of a factor will the loss of Andrew Bogut be? And uh, what do you think do the Cavs need to do uh, in terms of adjustments? Well, if Bogut is out and it looks like talagang baka wala siya at least for one game, that will give uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers ano ba, the impunity to attack the basket mm -hmm. even more. No? They outscored Golden State 46-30 to in the paint in Game 5. And with no Bogut, even with Green back, I think parang mas, mas madadagdagan yung tapang ng Cavaliers to attack the basket of Golden State. And of course, an adjustment for the Warriors would be uh, they have to scramble more on defense. No? Draymond, of course, may Iguodala, Sean Livingston, they have to parang patrol the paint as a, as a collective unit for them to to withstand that attack from Cleveland. All right. Um, before we ask you your prediction, Enzo, mm -hmm. anong class <laughs> starting lineup ang may kita natin from Golden State yeah. when we when they go to Game Six? Well, I think that uh, they're gonna probably start small. Uh, 
parang without Bogut there, you one might assume they're gonna give more minutes to the likes of Azili or even Maurice Spates, and that might happen. But for me, Golden State has to start very, very strong, and they, the only way they can do that is if they start small with their uh, their fast death lineup. Uh-huh. Um, I th- I wouldn't be surprised if they start with Draymond. Iggy at the four, uh, maybe Sean Livingston at the three, and then if the Splash Brothers in the backcourt. Uh, will they start Harrison Barnes? Uh, I'm not sure. I have my doubts about that. Because this was supposed to be a game where he should have you know, been able to shine really brightly, yeah. but he, he didn't do that. He was shooting two out of 14. Mm-hmm. He played really bad. So I think if Kerr, if Steve Kerr plays the numbers, I if I were him, I'd go Sean Livingston over Harrison Barnes in Game 6. Okay, and quickly, uh, Cavs have won a road game in every series this playoffs. Won, yeah. Can they win one more at home to force a Game <laughs> 7? Your prediction? I, I think the momentum has shifted a little bit, uh, and I think playing on their home floor is going to be such a big boost for Cleveland, even with Draymond back in the fold. Plus Draymond, minus Bogut on the Cleveland home floor. I think that's a recipe for a Game 6 win for the Cavs. And then eventually... A wild and wooly no. game seven in, in Golden State. So I think this will go the full distance, uh, game seven. Staying in line with this prediction, yeah. Golden oh. State in seven. Thank you very much, Enzo. Thank you as always. Thanks, For more sports updates, keep watching the score and don't forget to subscribe.